So welcome back everybody. I did not know that I would be doing another thermal review so soon. So what I have here is the DNT HS219. Now this has a 19 millimeter objective. It's very comparable to the HS225, which has a 25 millimeter objective. This is gonna actually have a little bit wider field of view. So I've tested a lot of other thermals in the past, handhelds, everything else. Typically when you get at this price point, it's not usable at all. You'll just see a blob, you can't tell what it is. I am blown away by how clear this is. And we're gonna go over and review this. So sit back, relax. If you're in the market for a budget thermal, this may be just what you're looking for. It literally just launched. They just showed up for sale. All right, so here it is, the HS219. Looks very similar to all the other models in the Hydra series, except, well, they'll just have higher resolutions and different focal lengths. So it's got a front adjustable objective, rear adjustable for eye relief. Here's your power button. Here's your zoom button or your up button in the menu. Your middle button, press and hold for your menus. It's also your enter button. Here's your down button or a quick one tap for recording. This does have built-in internal memory and does record both video and audio, something a lot of other brands don't do. Comes with a flip up lens cover on the front. It does take rechargeable batteries and I've tested these models a lot. Four plus hours is not uncommon for this to be left on 100%. Now I cycle mine off and on during hunting and I can find that I can get days out of this because I don't just leave it on. But the cool thing about this is and what I prefer over the throwaway batteries, just bring you one spare rechargeable battery and you just unscrew the cap, pop it in. You're talking a nighttime, an entire nighttime of hunting if you wanna do that. And over on this side, this is a USB-C port right here where you plug it in the computer and remove your files. Now we'll talk about the mount in a minute. I'm gonna shoot back to a clip where I just installed this. All right, so let's go over the mount. We'll get this mounted up and then we'll go side it in and I will show you those features. And we'll also run through the menu real quick. So the thermal itself ships with a solid mount. You can see it's got three lock-in bolts that you'll put on your rail, mount the thermal up to here, and you're good to go. I picked up DNT's newest designed quick disconnect mount right here, QDM mount. So here's what comes in the package with that. And this is one of the most unique QDMs I have ever seen. As you can see, it clamps from two different sides. Spoiler alert, the side plate's also removable and you can add an accessory plate here. We'll be covering that in an upcoming video. They have really put a lot of thought into this mount right here. So what we'll do, you can see I have all the holes on the bottom. We'll put this mount wherever we feel is best. All right, so now we have two different options here. Think this through with me. So we've got a clamp side right here, and then we've got a permanent side where you just tighten these bolts down right here. So you can permanent mount this by clamping the bolts to your rifle's rail, and then now you can quick release the scope itself if you wanna use this as a handheld monocular. So for example, if you're gonna leave this thermal on a single rifle, a dedicated rifle, and you wanna be able to pop it off and on with this quick release mount, this is the way I would do that. Leave the permanent base on the rifle, or you can simply flip this over. Now you can put the quick disconnect on the rifle itself, permanent mount to the thermal, so whenever you remove it, you can still use this as a handheld, but now you've got a bulkier adapter in your hand. But here's the big benefit of doing it this way. Now, if you make the quick disconnect mount permanent mounted to the thermal, we can release it. And now the thermal can go from rifle to rifle. And by the way, in the menu, you have different reticle setups that you can do for different rifles, different zeros. I have never seen something quite like this. I'm not saying nobody else makes them out, but I've never seen one that you can flip flop in either permanent or quick disconnect one side or the other. Now siding in with a thermal like this couldn't be any easier, except I guess it's a little difficult to do in the daytime because you technically need a warm target. So I eyeballed it in the shop, made some adjustments and got it where I want. I'm gonna take a few shots. I'm only sighting this in about 15 to 20 yards because that's typically where I do my up close critter hunting at night, which is what this platform is set up for. That's super easy to sight these in. I done shown you in the menu the XY adjustments right here, but you take a shot. If you can clamp this, it's even better. Keep it, keep the gun right where you were aiming, then go in the scope and move the crosshairs to where the shot is. And typically it only takes moving one, maybe two times and you're sighted in. All right, so I'm gonna go in the menu. 
Oh, go back up. They're zeroing. We'll go to the X. All right, put my crosshairs right in the middle. Let's start moving over. To where the shot was. And I need to adjust the Y and go up. All right, you can see where I just did a little sighting in, finally got up in the bullseye. Again, I'm shooting at 15 to 20 yards. I'm not looking for nothing just deadly accurate here. This is all set up for up close problem animals that we're having. So I put another dot on this side. We're gonna set up roughly the same distance and what I just got to thinking, I've got the thermal off right now. I was just doing a little more recording. So we've already sat it in. Now I've done completely removed it. We're gonna clamp it back on and see if we're still sat it in. That's gonna be a very common question from a lot of y'all on quick release mounts like that. And it's a very good question. Here's the thermal, as y'all can see, completely removed. Here's my rifle. Let me clamp that on. Take a few shots at that box and uh, see if we're back close to the bullseye. And before y'all ask, we own tons of property back there. No houses, nobody. All ours, nice and safe to shoot in. Get over here, Ruger. <laughs> yeah. So, same experience I've had with other quick release mounts. Bullseye, even after taking it completely off for a while, been doing some recording, just clamped it back on. So, I can live with that. All right, we've got a critter, probably a rabbit or an armadillo. That is a little over 100 yards. Oh, see what black hot is so clear. I can tell that's a rabbit. Love black hot for the detail. There's red hot iron. White hot's really good for quickly identifying something. So let's zoom in. Three power. Four. Six, get a little blurry. That's understandable with something this price point. I'm adjusting my focus. Eight power, that's crazy. I mean, you could make that shot if I could hold still. <laughs> I'm not leaning up on nothing. Oh man, two power so clear. <sighs> I can't believe the clarity I'm seeing. <sighs> Look at there deer that's over 300 that's the back corner of that plot that's 350 to 400 yards i just can't i can't believe this clarity look at there another deer coming out i can't believe the clarity the price points what i'm trying to say oh my goodness wow Check that out. Let's start zooming in. And that deer on the right is a good sized deer. I'm shaking because I'm uh, swatting mosquitoes. Alright, I'm going to add the humidity snapshot to this one. This will be my first one ever with the HS219. Okay, if that rabbit is about 100 yards away. Let's go through the different color palettes. Oh boy, so easy to spot a white hot. Let's zoom on in. Three power. Four. Six. Oh my goodness, look how easy I could take a shot at. Let's say 90 to 100 yards. Keep scanning. Man, this looks so good. Oh, there's something else out there in the woods. Another rabbit. Check that out. That's 100, well over 100 yards away. All right, here we are doing some distance testing. Let me go ahead and warn you, the humidity is high and it is hot down here in Florida. Not a good time to test thermal. But here it is, yeah, 76% humidity. So take a look at this. That deer in the background is about 325 yards away, and I'm gonna walk toward it doing a distance test. So right now I'm about 100 yards away. You can see I got my 80 pound lab with me. And by the way, this thermal is completely detached from a rifle. 
No, we're not pointing a weapon at anybody. So 100 yards, wave my arms. I like it in black hot. That's your cleanest look, especially on this high humidity night. It's also worth mentioning the image you see, it is actually clear in the screen. Whenever I record and edit and you know just go through all the compression, you're getting a dirtier image here on YouTube on the screen. It actually looks even better in the scope. So here I am out at 200 yards. I got my lab just jumping all around so you could see something that's roughly the size of a coyote. You also notice how high the grass is. It's halfway up my dog. So that's why things seem a little cut off right there. Now I'm heading out to 300 yards. I'm getting right near where that deer is in the bushes. It looks like a mama doe with a yearling in there and she is behind really thick oak limbs. So not bad y'all. Keep in mind, this is a budget thermal budget now. Typically those don't do well at all. And I'm at 300 yards. You could easily take a shot, any you know decent sized animal, a hog at 300 yards. And you see that deer starting to pop out from underneath the uh, trees over there. She doesn't want to run because she's got a yearling with her. So I decided to kind of come on back. All right, I'm getting a little closer. That's about 175, 200 yards. Just giving you an idea of a human size and dog size or coat, maybe hog size animal is probably what uh, Ruger right there is more compared to being around 80 pounds. Just keep in mind, this is budget, y'all. I just can't get over this price point. I thought it would be so much more blurry than this. This is absolutely usable. So here is a rabbit about 60 to 70 yards away. Again, another high humidity night. It's just what I'm working with. You could easily make that shot. This thing is set up perfect for critter hunting, small game hunting, which is what I'm going to use this particular thermal for. That looks great. All right, so here we are in the menu. We'll just go through some of the functions in here. You can got your connections menu. But see, there's those zero in profiles I was just telling you about. So you can do different profiles if you want to move the thermal from rifle to rifle. Here's our different reticle settings. We'll go through the menu here. You can just kind of get a quick look at all these, including you can turn it completely off if you just want to use this as a handheld, you know, monocular. Here's a few more in here. I tend to prefer that one, and I'm starting to really like this one. And this one can do red, green, yellow, black, and white. Now we can also do picture in picture. You can put it in the left, the center, or the right. All is going to be up top. And what that picture in picture gives you is a zoom. So your center crosshairs are at whatever power you're currently at, and the picture in picture zooms it on up. There's a lot of people that like that for quick target acquisition and long shots. Now, because I'm setting this up for close range and on a rimfire, I'm going to turn the picture in picture off. You've got recoil activated mode for recording, image super resolution. This is important, but this is gonna be hard for me to show right now. All right, so y'all, it is actually daytime and it's there's fog everywhere. It's 100% humidity. So do not pay attention to what you're looking at here. This is the worst situation possible. But just look way out there in the distance is some firewood totes. I've got super resolution on. I'm going to turn it off. Look at how grainy that is. Ultimately, what super resolution does, it kind of washes over all the pixels and pretty much just sharpens them up and cleans them up. So I'm going to turn it back on. See how what I'm looking at right there, those solar panels just popped. It just cleaned up all around them. This is really, really easy to see on cooler nights and nighttime. Again, daytime and fog out. <laughs> this is not what a thermal is for. All right, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I mean, you just can't beat this. The price point that it's at, I'm gonna put some links down in the description so you can go check availability and current price points. I'm sure some stuff's gonna fluctuate around. That's perfectly normal, but uh, this is totally usable in the budget category. I am just happy with where technology is heading. Things are becoming more and more affordable for just the common folk that wants to buy something like this. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, drop some comments and we'll have some more videos coming out here before long.